Hey guys, this is Anna Cover Dudes all the way from Down with the Commodore's 3.0 Quantum Labs patch review. This is pretty much where I go over everything in the patch and just give my opinions on it. Now the first thing and the main thing for this patch is the new user interface. And I'm not sold. I don't enjoy it too much. Now, this new UI the main feel that I get from it is that every component is trying to fight for space. It's just too crowded and too clustered and it just makes it seem really complicated which it really isn't in its true sense. When you go they've kind of made it a bit more efficient which is nice but putting everything and clustering together makes it feel and makes it seem more, you know, more complicated which is not good for a game like Combat Arms. I don't want to be spending too much time in the shop, in the forge and all that, in my character. I just want to chuck my guns on, chuck my gear on, and go straight into a game. I don't want to be spending, what, five minutes nav navigating through all these different types of menus in order to get to one thing that I could have got to in like 20 seconds in the previous UI. Overall, I'm not really enjoying it. I prefer the old UI, but you know, we've just got to get used to it, because that's what we said with the old, old UI. We thought, oh my god, that was the best UI ever. And then when the new one came in, we just kind of got used to it. We've just kind of got, got to get used to this one now, and that's just kind of the reality of the situation. Now the new map, Quantum Labs, I enjoy it. I have to say it's a really, really interesting map. The fact is that the gravity is lowered so you can just jump around like an absolute like astronaut. It's really cool and it's got all the teleporting elements. It's just something unique and it's nice that Nexton's putting this in in order to make the game seem a bit more fresh. But saying that, when I joined, Bra joined Bravo 1, there was two games of Quantum Lab, and it was about 10 games of Oil Rig. This is only four hours after the patches come out. Pretty much, people are not going to be playing this game, just because this map, just because they like Oil Rig too much. Everybody's too used to playing Oil Rig, because that is the perfect map. Whoever created it in Combat Arms Europe is an absolute genius, because now everybody is playing Oil Rig, and nobody's playing any other map. The only other maps you see would be Death Room and Junk Fleet, and for today would be Quantum Labs. But now, tomorrow, or next week, or whatever, Quantum Labs, nobody will be playing it just because people are too used to playing Oil Rig. And that's really sad because this map has a lot of potential and it's a really interesting concept that Nexon's put into the game. And you know, kind of getting it pushed aside is pretty sad in my opinion. But saying it, I'll put some gameplay out on it, but it's just not going to be a map that's going to be played by a lot of people just because they like Oil Rig too much, which is a very big shame. Now the M14 Hunter, I have to say I haven't used it myself, but I've seen Sniff reviews on it, Sniff's review on it, and it seems like a really nice gun. Really solid free shot kill, not so good portability, really nice fire rate, great accuracy, and moderate recoil. This gun is going to be an absolute beast. It's like a really good in close range and medium range, and then still good at long range with that sniper scope. You can turn it into like a semi-automatic sniper rifle at that range. So if you need a really good gun and you don't want to buy an assault rifle and you don't want to go and buy a sniper rifle, this is a really good hybrid and obviously the G36E is the other choice. Now the mist cases are back, the mist and all your, all, all your favourite guns are in there, so if you want to go and buy a couple of those you can... Now there's a new military helmet that's for a preview sale, I think it's like $5, don't, it's just a cosmetic, don't buy it, you're just going to be wasting your money. The new GP pistol with 5.7 is horrible, don't buy it, ever, 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 ever. It is so weak, this gun, it's so ironic because it says this pistol is d designed to overcome the weaknesses of 9mm bullets, but the ironic thing is this gun is just so unbelievably weak, it takes like 6 to 7 shots to kill a person. And, and honestly, that just isn't good enough for a new pistol in this game. It has to be competitive. This gun isn't competitive. Just stick to your USP and G23 and you'll be absolutely fine. But overall, I have to say, this this patch is a mixed bag. The new UI, I'm not so you know not so happy with. The new map, I'm really enjoying it. The M14 Hunter's a really nice gun. The 5.7 is, you know, not so good of a gun. So we've got two bad and two good. Overall, I'm going to give this patch maybe a 7 out of 10. Because it does have some good features, but, you know, overall, it's just a bit underwhelming in my opinion. But other than that, undercover dudes, all the way from down under, out.